Hi, I'm Patu from Freeman Cal, and this is a performance review of Nifty Next 50 Index Fund. If you're worried about the performance uh, as you are an investor in one of the index funds, then this is what you need to know. So what you see here is 570 data points in each colored line. Uh, each data point represents a 15 year rolling return. Of course, the uh, window uh, for these 570 data points is uh, somewhere between end uh, 2017 and uh, uh, and uh, early 2020 that is February 2020 that is September or maybe uh, I would say October 2017 to February 2020 and oh in this uh, window about uh, two and a half year window each or uh, data point is a 15 year return and you can see the dramatic decrease uh, in the uh, nifty next 50 lump sum returns so for somebody who had invested a lump sum and uh, uh, completed 15 year uh, investment uh, in late 2017 the return would have been 20 25 percent or so and uh, for somebody who has just finished a 15 year uh, investment period in the nifty next 50 uh, that uh, return would be about 14 about 15 percent so that's a very big uh, fall and you can see that the gap between the nifty 100 which is the pink line and the nifty 50 which is the white line has significantly uh, come down uh, nifty mid cap 150 is not there because of uh, low history uh, data available uh, this dramatic decrease uh, has uh, has um, has come during a period where the risk of the nifty next 50 has been more or less the same so what you see here is the rolling standard deviation or the how the monthly returns are volatile and how much they deviate from the average monthly return and you can see that the blue line which corresponds to the nifty next 50 is well above the nifty 100 and the nifty uh, 50 so the risk has remained the same whereas the reward has significantly come down and uh, the data over the next uh, sorry for over 10 years uh, is a is slightly better now you have three times more data points you now have 1809 data points spanning from uh, mid uh, mid 2012 to early 2020 and you can see that the nifty next 50 is the blue line the green line now you see is nifty mid cap 150 the pink line is nifty 100 and the white line is nifty 50 both the nifty mid cap 150 and uh, nifty next 50 are more or less in step with each other uh, they have the same kind of reward and they have just about managed to stay above the nifty 100 and the nifty 50 for uh, 10 year windows in terms of risk sorry in terms of uh, risk however you can see uh, the nifty next 50 which is the blue line has been above the uh, the pink line which is nifty 100 and the white line which is nifty 50 what is amusing is that uh, the green line which is the nifty mid cap 150 uh, the risk was comparable to the nifty 100 and nifty 50 uh, in 2016 2017 but after that it has become slightly more volatile and is heading towards the nifty next 50 uh, viewers may recall that uh, a few i think in last month i had uh, written a post how the or made a video also how the uh, 10 year SIP returns of the nifty 50 has come down by almost 50% that's the graph that you see here the black dots and I have now added the nifty next 50 10 year data points each dot is a 10 year SIP return and you can see how much the SIP returns fluctuate for both and the problem with the nifty next 50 is you can't be guaranteed that the that a SIP a 10 year SIP in nifty next 50 would beat the nifty 50 you can't be guaranteed of that the reward uh, uh, is not commensurate with the risk at all times the risk is guaranteed to be high but the reward is not a guarantee and this is a problem and this factor you should keep into account when you invest in the nifty next 50 if you are a person who is investing in uh, both nifty next 50 and nifty 50 at least rebalance once a year to minimize the risk don't let your SIPs run or investments run uh, unchecked then you will be subject to sequence of returns the sequence of returns is what uh, we talk about in my Facebook uh, uh, lecture series on portfolio uh, goal-based portfolio management um, 
my problem with the nifty next 50 is in 2017 i think it saw about 46 percent returns and that has led to many people jumping on to this fund without understanding many risks and uh, 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 many of its risks and the problem with the whole index move, index investing movement in india although it's very small uh, is that uh, that shift towards index funds a very small shift but that shift has happened at a time when the index is moved up the uh, when the index keeps falling and when active manage uh, actively managed funds are able to uh, protect the downside will index investors rethink their strategy i think so i won't bet on index investing getting um, suddenly popular because i think the downside um, protection still matters in my opinion and in my because there is no uh, uh, hybrid index fund available uh, an actively managed aggressive hybrid fund balanced advantage fund dynamic asset allocation fund or multi asset funds uh, in my opinion remains a very good way to uh, reduce risk in a guaranteed manner and get a return which is close to the market like nifty or sensex if not equal to the market or more than that so that's what i would suggest if you're scared of the nifty next 50 if you're not scared of the nifty nifty, nifty next 50 you can keep investing in it but please be mindful of the risks and actively manage it so that's what i want to say in this video 